All of these voices, moms and imams alike, are essential to building the critical mass of influence needed to discredit violent extremism within our communities. These examples of family and community-led interventions may help explain why so few Indians have joined ISIL's ranks thus far. This is correct. Fight. From expanding intelligence sharing to cracking down on illicit terrorist finance, better securing our borders, ports, and public transportation, and helping to train thousands of Indian security personnel, the United States stands shoulder to shoulder with India and all countries in the region against the threat of extremism. And we will continue to press Pakistan to take the fight to all terrorist networks in the border region and to do everything in its power to help India achieve justice for the Mumbai attacks, which claims both Indian and American lives. Are these groups to promote their own national goals? And it doesn't, it doesn't. Where extremism explodes, as in the lynching of a Muslim man last September, or in the burning of churches in Orissa, public figures must be quick to <coughs> condemn those acts and the misguided beliefs that are used to justify such violence. ...within the United States, and from, from March 2014...